D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I have a Pumi Mr. Bishi Sidil Multi VRF system and right straight out the gate it's tripping the circuit breaker right so with experience I know that more than likely if that's happening straight out the gate is tripping the breaker with experience I know more than likely this is a culprit all right this is a culprit more than likely that's what's going to be all right but um as always before we get into the video I want you to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and smash that bell icon so when I upload videos like these you get them right away all right guys crazy view if you're afraid of heights stay away from HVAC because you're going to be up high all right so anyways so we got power coming in this is my service disconnect as you can see it's in the off position it's knifed off currently and got my meter rigged up as you know I'm like one-handed right now and so up top here got power line voltage 216 so I'm good okay but if I put this on it will trip the main breaker downstairs so here's what we got before we go to the um, compressor testing I want to show you the schematic real quick Let me zoom in okay so here's the main power here's a compressor um, here's your main power comes in goes through the PB the PB board and there's a relay on this board that switches one line as you can see it goes through right here one line this one goes through the relay um, the other line goes straight through all the way to the IGBT board and the IGBT even though it's right here and you might think it's a part of the point of the PB board they're two separate items okay they're two separate items uh, IGBT where is that it's an acronym somewhere it's here somewhere where is it uh, right here it's a power module. I think that's what the um, uh, Mr. Bishi term for uh, inverter board. This is inverter. That's the inverter. All right. Or the VFD as you may. And this is a PB board. That's a power control board. Okay. But yeah, definitely um, compressor because you know you, one line goes straight through into the inverter board. Or the IGBT board and as you can see here I think there's no disconnection or separation from within here you know to the compressor so if the compressor is grounded it's gonna feed back all the way to the main power but when that happens though I would definitely just replace this board the IGB IGBT board and just the power board because depending on how long this is happening it may have back fed and as you can see it's back feeding and it's tripping the main breaker so that may have caused problems for these uh, this board right here so I just new compressor and both of these boards all right so let's get into the diagnostics boom it's gonna be real quick uh, should be about 10 minutes or so so I already have my mega meter hooked up and I have it so I you know got this compressor cover off as you can see I might cut my screws the three screws are always holding my wires right and you see I have my wires orientated in the way I remove them one two three one two three just like that can't go wrong pro style all right so now i'm starting off just at the continuity level at the regular ohm scale continuity and i got the black my black lead already on the ground do you hear that okay now let's go into the compressor winding and remember you're not going to go right here on the screw threads you're going to go on this part right here this part but the screw threads is different that's nothing this is the actual compressor winding this piece this plastic this metal piece right here and voila 64 ohms baby i don't even need to go to the meg range just the regular home value give me a reading so that's compressor is grounded clearly it should be it should be ol or infinity so I don't even I could have tested tested this with my regular home meter over there that one that one there 
I didn't need my mega tester, but I walked with it anyways, and it has the function, so I just start with that. That's usually what I do. I start with the lowest, you know, reading first, and then I go up the scale. Um, 250 volts, uh, 200, I mean 500 volts, and then 1,000 volts. So right now, if I were to like move this, this meter to like just like the 250 volts range, it will show me zero, zero megs. Let's, let's uh, lock this in. Can I lock it with one hand? No? Yes? Okay, so I'm locked in there. So I'm testing now, let's go. Zero ohms, and, you can, and take note of my voltage, drops down to zero. Check this out. So it's a 263, 264 volts, 265 volts. I'm testing that. If I, if I put it under the um, motor lead, compressor winding, I get zero megs and my voltage is gone. So I don't have to go any further, guys. That's pretty much it. This thing is 28 volts. So that's it. Done. Compressor is bad. Diagnostic complete. Diagnostic complete. I want to show you where those boards are. They're back here. Okay, stay tuned. So there you go. Where's my light? See that? What's going on with my camera, man? It's a bit. There you go. So that's your PB board in the back, and the IGBT board is attached to it. It's behind of it. It's behind it. Okay. Now, I know that there's people people that's going to comment in the comment section saying that ah, you don't have to replace the boards. There's ways you could test this, uh, those boards. I'm sure there is. And I, in fact, I know there is. But I won't be doing that in this video. And also, for the cost of those boards and for efficiency and peace of mind, just replace the board. I just recommend replacing the board. Uh, boards with the compressor uh, if um, if you're on a budget and you know there's there's monies of the concern where it's that the budget is that tight then I'll say go ahead and take the steps and troubleshoot the boards but um, given that you know we've been getting these charges through those boards short on the compressor going all the way back to the main breaker is passing through those boards and there's relays contacts in there on these boards um there's a lot going on on these boards with extra uh, current draw where it's tripping the breaker they may not function or function as good so then just change them out but again I said if you want to go ahead and troubleshoot them troubleshoot them i just want to do it in this video um what else what else um if you was wondering what i was doing over here with my meter so on this let me zoom in so on this side is the where it's using actually it's putting out 250 volts when I'm on the scale right here and when I go down here it's putting out 500 volts when I go down here it's putting out it's putting out 1000 volts actually to this port to these to these prongs right to test but over here it's like regular on this side it's like your regular meter 9 volts or 3 volts whatever that's um, low voltage so with that um the resistance reading is not as high def it's not as sensitive the higher the more you increase the voltage is the more sensitive uh the reading will be because you know that um re uh, uh, resistance is uh less i should say more or i should say less resistive to a higher voltage because the higher voltage could overcome it so in other words um, you see how when I check right here, I was getting um, 65. Let me go back real quick. So demonstrate. This is just like if you're here, you're still spe you're special. If you're still here, you're special. That's the reason why I'm doing this for you. You're gonna get this bit. So this is a regular meter, regular scale. It's probably putting out on these leads right now nine volts at the most. All right. So if I go right there, touch that, I'm getting 62, 63 volts. Right, 63 ohms. Okay. Now this still, that's still bad, but if I really if I go to the to the where I'm actually putting out 
just 250 volts or 265 volts according to or 64 volts according to this thing right here that's what's coming out across that's the potential across this lead and that lead this lead and that lead and if i go with this now you can see zero and it's a you can say that's like a dead short because my voltage sink down to zero too all right so that's it i'm out diagnostic Diagnostic for the compressor and I'm going to recommend to replace my PB and my IGBT. IGBT is attached to the back of the PB and you know you remove these screws on these sides right here right here and then there's like these little three metal clips that's on the back of this plate right here you got to get them shimmy them out unplug your wires from the from the main board 